Okay, so so far we've already set up a new website with a connection to a database. We've created a page that displays the records from that database and we have uh, set up a place to uh, scroll through those records and to create a new record. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add um, a way to delete customer records from there. So what you'll see is that I've come down and I have added a column at the end of this and I did that by selecting the last column and then uh, right whoops, right clicking on that choosing table and then choosing insert rows or columns and then I just add one column after the current column and what that did is it created this section and then I just simply entered in here the word delete. Now what's going to happen is we're going to create the delete records page and then we're going to hyperlink to it from this location. So we need to go ahead and create a new PHP document and this document will never actually be seen so we can go ahead and we can take all that code out of there. It'll be seen by the uh, system in the back end, but it's going to um, have a process that's set up that it, it never really should be viewed by humans. So we're just going to um, get rid of that stuff. And what we want to do is we want to come in here. Again, we need to set bindings. We need to set a record set that is equal to the database that we have been working with. And what we want to do is we want to set this filter to the primary key, which in our case is the customer number, and just accept the defaults for that. Setting up bindings. So after I've come into this document and taken away that HTML code, I'm going to add bindings to that and I'm going to set up a new record set and I just set it to the same thing that we've been using for the other data. Um, I always like to give it a test and then choose OK and that sets up your bindings over here. Now what we're going to do, there's a couple different ways to do this. I'm going to show you the way that it's done with this wizard since that's the way we, we've been doing some of the other ones. So I'm going to choose the delete record wizard and what that does is um, it receives information from another page which is the um, customer records page that we're working on and what we're going to do is we're going to tell it what the primary key is of the record that we want to delete. So the first thing that this is going to do is check to see if that variable is defined and then if it is defined uh, what it's going to do is it's going to make the connection <clears throat> and it, this key or this uh, wizard identifies the primary key because it knows that it's going to need to go to that. Now the, the thing that we need to add to this is we want to go back to that customer records page when we're done. So we go ahead and click OK and um, again click OK and now what we need to do is we just need to save this and I'm going to call it delete records dot PHP and I save that so what this is going to do is it's just going to serve as the ability for us to make those changes but in order for that to work again it has to know which record to delete so I'm back to the customer records page I've got the delete selected and what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this browse for file and the reason I choose browse for file instead of the pointer icon is that that allows me to add parameters so I'm going to choose the delete records document and then I'm going to set up the parameters and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up the parameters for that. So for the name, customer number is the primary key that we're using. And then in the value, what I do is I come in here and I choose the lightning bolt. And what that allows me to do is point to that customer number field and it goes ahead and puts in the code, uh, that the PHP code that it needs to pass that parameter on to the next location. So we've got the delete records PHP and then that whole customer number string in there as part of this 
uh, HTML and that is passed in over here as part of that code. So what it's going to do is it's going to send that primary key ID as a parameter to the other document. So let's see how this works. So we're going to save everything and then I'm going to synchronize the site. And now I want to go to this page in my browser. And I will reload that. When I reload this, you'll see that it's added the delete thing. So I'm going to delete this first record from here. So if this works right, it should come back to this page, only then that document will be gone. So you notice that the 103 disappeared from here, and then that allows you to delete the records from this um, database and it works pretty slick and so what happens when you click that delete it goes to the delete records field it passes the parameter for the primary key which is the customer number it finds that record it deletes that record from the database and then because you told it to come here after it's done that submit action it comes back to this page now the only thing that's left for us to do is to have the way to change these records and we will take care of that in the next video where we are looking at the update record um, form